What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you week 7 of my Seattle Seahawks franchise. We got Marshawn Lynch and Richard Sherman out for this game and for more weeks. Then we have Cannon, Harrelson, Rogers, Davis, and Goldston all out for the 49ers. So this is going to be a good game. It's at Make It Stain Glass Staining Stadium. I think I said it right that time. And there's an ice cream truck outside of my apartment. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You might, if you listen carefully, you might be able to hear it. Um, I can't hear it right now because I have my game audio on right now. But we're going to start things off. Frank Gore with the very first touch of the game, you know, besides the kickoff. And he's going to take it, what, I think 52, 42 yards, my bad. Uh, third and five, Alex Smith dropping back. He's going to try to scramble, but he's going to get taken down for a sack, yes. And that is KJ Wright with a sack. So 49ers are going to pop up a field goal, bring him up 3-0. I don't know why I said pop up. That sounds really lame. But LT is going to get the first touch for the Seattle Seahawks. He's going to take that for, I think that was seven yards, and we get dropped for a loss. And now Matt Flynn, I almost said Johnny Flynn, almost said Johnny Flynn, gets dropped back for a sack. And that's me being me trying to get a user pick with Brandon Browner. And Michael Crabtree is going to capitalize off my mistake and get 19 yards right there. And Ted Ginn Jr., he's going to go ahead and get a huge gain there, 30 yards, uh, to bring the 49ers closer to the end zone. Alex Smith dropping back, and Demarcus Van Dyke is going to pick that one off himself. Uh, he moved up in the depth chart now that Sherman is out, and he is making the most out of that opportunity. But we're going to throw a pick right back. That is just some bad passing by Matt Flynn, first pass of the game goes intercepted so that was not good and then Mbane, Mbane, I think it's Mbane, I don't know, whatever, he gets a sack there, that's his first sack of the game and uh, we kind of overthrow the receiver there on our possession and we're going to turn it over and I think this is Mbane, I think it's Mbane, I don't even know how to say it, I think it's Mbane, he gets the second sack of the day there, so third and ten, Alex Smith's going to hit Darius Walker, I believe he's the running back from Notre Dame and now he plays like tight end or some, something like that. Um, and he's in like a second year, uh, third in this video, I should say. Uh, Michael Crabtree is going to hail in a reception there. And third and 16, Alex Smith going to the end zone. And this one's going to be tipped out. Um, so the 49ers are going to have to kick up another field goal, bringing them up 6-0. So it's 7.48 left in the half. Uh, we still have not got anything going, but we hit Doug Baldwin there on the slant. Some people say the slants are cheap. But whatever, just a video game. It's all good. I'm going against the computer. So, okay. Uh, third and 14, we're going to bomb it deep. And Culliver is going to pick this one off. So we're just going to pretend like that was a punt. So that was a really good punt. Uh, we punted it to the six-yard line. And Alex Smith did not want to get dropped down for a sack. He did not want it to be a safety. And they did not want us to get the fumble recovery. Uh, they really fought hard for that possession there. And Mike Williams is going to get drilled there on the 12-yard reception. So instead of getting a safety or the ball close to the end zone, you know, they recover the fumble. And I can hear the ice cream truck right now. You probably can hear it right now. It's kind of obnoxious and it's kind of funny, actually. But first and 10, we're going to hit Justin Blackman. He's going to get about 18 yards or so. I don't know. There. And then we're going to give it to LT on the toss play. Like I said in my previous video, this is kind of cheap. If you guys want me to do something else other than that, let me know. Um, but the last video obviously hasn't been uploaded yet because this is the third video that I still have on my, is that the ice cream truck? Wait, hold on. Is that? No, that wasn't the ice cream truck. I got really excited there. Third and nine, Alex Smith dropping back. We're going to tip that one away. First and 10, 144 left in the half. Matt Flynn, Flynn going back, hitting Mike Williams. You like how I just got really excited because the ice cream truck, even though it wasn't even it. Uh, anyways, we're going to hit Miller there on the, sh the, uh, straight route whatever uh and then we're gonna hit blackman there for an eight yard gain so 39 seconds left in the half 30 inches matt flynn's gonna go ahead scramble this one he's going to pick up a first down and then some slide to the ground so he does not get hit uh then we're gonna go no huddle and we're gonna pass it right here to miller he is going to hail that one in in between due to two defenders First and 10, 18 seconds left. We're going to hit Chad Johnson, and he's going to break it, bring it down to the one-yard line. Couldn't get in, and if you saw that real quick, Matt Flynn's eight passes completed in a row. We're going to hand it off to the fullback, McLean, and look at this on the squib kick. We almost actually get the ball back. Um, 
but the 49ers are going to get it back with a couple seconds left. Four seconds left in the half, and Clemens, I think that's Clemens, gets the sack to wrap up the half. So we got the ball back since we usually always kick first. And look at this nice pass on the run by Matt Flynn to Doug Baldwin. Pretty good. And uh, first and 10, Matt Flynn, I believe he is still on a passing streak here. I think we completed somewhere between 10 to 12 passes in a row, uh, which made up for that first two interceptions of the day. Um, I don't know where we threw an incomplete pass, but Mike Williams, he's going to go get, go and get a reception there. Uh, third and 17, we're going to throw an incomplete pass there. That wasn't the one that broke the streak. There was one earlier. And their drive, third and six, they're not going to get anything going. So there's a, a three and out for the 49ers. And we got the ball in second and 10. LT getting the pass um, on the delayed route. And he's going to pick up a first down there. That's pretty much all LT did this entire game. And the Michael James is going to get dropped down for a loss on third down. So we're going to have to settle for a field goal. Bringing us up 17 to 6. And uh, someone thinks they're cool with their car. Yeah, their car. Um, cool. Uh, so anyways, Frank Gore is going to fumble the ball. Um, Bob Sanders is going to recover it, but he's not going to get too much out of it. But now we're on the 22-yard line, and yes, Bob Sanders did get injured. I believe he would come back to the game. Um, Bob Sanders is another class player, but it's all right because we only signed him as a backup. Um, so it's all good. First and 10, or first and five on goal line. First and goal on the five yard line, cool. We hit Miller, the tight end, and we get a touchdown, bringing us up 24 to six. Second 11 on the 49ers, uh, we're gonna get the sack, and I believe that would be Brooks, Reed, and um, Chris Clemen getting the sack combined, so they share it. Um, so we get the ball back, third and five. LaMichael James picking up a first down there on third down. So now, it's, now that's going to bring us into the fourth quarter. LaMichael James going for another first down, but he's going to get stopped short on third down. And we're going to have to settle for another field goal, bringing us up 27-6 to six with 9-19 left in the game. So it's looking good for us. It's looking like we're going to advance to 7-0. And 49ers hit Josh Morgan there for nine yards and second and one. Alex Smith dropping back, and this one is going to be thrown to uh, Kyle Williams. I think that's the guy that everyone hates because he muffed the uh, the punt return in the championship game. But uh, anyways, was, was that the championship game? or was that? Yeah, that was the championship game. Okay, against the Giants. Anyways, Frank Gore getting some yards there, 7 yards. He has 15 rushes for 99 yards. I'm getting very distracted in this video. I keep going off topic, kind of. Second and three, Alex Smith trying to find anyone, and he's going to get dropped for a sack by Brooks Reed, uh, the new acquisition from last week. And look at this pass, Michael Crabtree wide open on third down. He's got 66 yards receiving on the day. First and 10 with 622 left in the game. That is going to be deflected, and Alex Smith will miss the rest of the game. He got injured. We were drilling him all game. Uh, actually, that whole drive, we kept blitzing him and hitting him after he threw it. So I knew eventually he was going to get injured. And now we have Kopernik in, and uh, that one's incomplete. So that was on fourth down. So we get the ball back, and we put in Terrell Pryor. We put in some backup receivers. And we also move up uh, Noel Devine to the first running back position. So you saw Pryor got a bunch of yards uh, rushing there. But we're going to get dropped down for a sack there. Thought I could outrun them. And here, third and 33, we are also going to get dropped for a sack once again um, by McDonald. He has two sacks on the game. So the 49ers have the ball back. And Cam Chancellor, he's going to go ahead and sack Kopernik there. So third and 15, the 49ers are facing potentially the end of the game. Um, they throw a short route there, so they're going to have to go for it on fourth down. If they don't convert this, they pretty much lose. And yes, they don't convert it. They throw the same pass. And now we've got the ball. And look at the well divine getting some nice blocking. And he is fast. He's got the speed. He outruns two 49er defenders. And he's taking that one to the house. That's a 54 yard, 56 yard uh, rushing touchdown, I believe. Second and 11, Kopernik hitting Crabtree, but this one's going to get stripped by Earl Thomas. And Brooks Reed all over the field today gets the fumble recovery. And now we're handing it off to Noel Devine. This is the, the rush right after that last touchdown one. And he's going to take this one 28 yards for a touchdown. So Noel Devine with the hot hand this game. And we're going to try to see how far that will go. Um, but he's going to get stuffed, and the holding is going to be on no other than John Moffat. We haven't seen that in quite some time, uh, which is a good thing. Um, but we're just going to kneel it 
and we're going to wrap up the game there. So we win like, what, 42 to 6, I think was the final score. We'll check it out in a second. Um, so it was a pretty good game. We advanced to 7-0. Um, next week will be against, uh, I don't remember. So Brooks Reed, two tackles, one sack. I believe it was one and a half sacks, and he had a fumble recovery. So he is player of the game. And we just dominated the 49ers um, in everything. Um, they dominated us in the first, and we dominated them in the rest of the game. As you can see there, we have a bunch of total offense. And uh, Matt Flynn, 17 of 30. Alex Smith, 11 of 24. Kopernik, 4 of 9. And Terrell Pryor, 1 of 1. 1 of 1 for negative 4 yards. That was on like a screen pass to Noel Devine. And uh, Matt Flynn made up for those two interceptions early in the game by finishing strong after that. Frank Gore hit the 100 mark, the century mark on 17 rushes. LT only had 20 on 14. Noel Devine, four rushes for 91 yards. Uh, so a strong game by Noel Devine, proving he deserves to be on the team. And taking a look at the receiving yards, uh, receiving stats, I believe Crabtree had the most out of anyone in the entire game. Um, but that's going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't know when this is actually going to be delivered to you because I don't have internet. But as always, thank you for watching and tune in next time.